Schedule Selection. Within the immunisation screen, if a baby is coming in late for their first dose of the schedule and they have had nothing recorded at all before or no vaccines given, then you would need to change the schedule that they're on to a catch-up schedule. We can go to the Schedule Selection 3 tab and uncheck the Standard Childhood Immunisation Schedule 2011 and we would say yes, we want to remove all recalls associated with that schedule. We would then need to apply the correct catch-up schedule for that baby based on the age they are when they have their first dose. So baby Penelope is six months old and has had no immunisations at all, so we can put her on the standard catch-up six months first dose. So we'll tick on that and that will then apply all the relevant vaccines that she needs and we can record them within the immunisation schedule one. Similarly, you could also do that with a baby of a Hep B positive mother. So if they are automatically put onto a childhood immunisation schedule 2011, you could uncheck that and tick that they need to be on the baby of Hep B positive mother 2011 and that would apply all the relevant details. So the important thing is not to have multiple um, schedules in place there. Now understand there are multiple catch-up scenarios that don't all apply to the first dose. So often babies would come in for their first dose when they're six weeks old and then come back again when they're 18 months. So a different schedule needs to be applied there and we can look at different scenarios in a separate video.